Hello and welcome to Study with Sudhir, your digital classroom and here we are with a brand new edition of Teju Ki Paatshala with Tejaswini Uma Sudhir and that's because the class 9 ICSE board mathematics exam is round the corner. So what are the tips that you have for the class 9 students? Okay, so first of all your paper consists of two sections, section A and section B. Section A is the compulsory section and uh, it carries 40 marks, each question of 10 marks. Then you have section B. Uh, wherein you have to choose four questions and uh, each question is 10 marks and that's again 40 marks. The duration of the paper is two and a half hours. Mm. So in a maths exam, time management is important. So I would suggest you uh, uh, spend around one hour for section A, one hour to one hour five minutes and uh, section B, you have to adjust it in such a way that you have at least 10 to 15 minutes for revising your entire paper. So basically uh, what it means is that if you have to just divide those 150 minutes that you have, keep at least 10 to 15 minutes, you know, uh, yes. for revising every question that you have attempted in order to ensure that you have yes. not made any careless calculation mistake. Okay, yes. so that leaves you with 2 hours and 15 minutes. That's essentially the time you have. So what Tejaswini is suggesting is that for the first 40 marks in the first part of the paper, the compulsory section, devote about 60 to 65 minutes. And in the second half, devote a, almost an equal amount of time in order to leave that calculation time. So your time management is key mainly because you shouldn't spend too much time on any one question which you are not able to crack. Exactly. If you are not able to crack a question, leave, leave space. some space and move on to the next question. You can always come back to it later. That yes. should be your strategy. Don't get bogged down by one question which you are not able to solve. Okay. Yes. So, okay. Now let's go to the uh, okay. basic uh, tips on how to approach the examination paper and of course the preparation time that you have right now. Uh, so I think you cannot leave any chapter because see what happens is that in each question it's a mixed up uh, you, you know it's questions are mixed from are various mixed. chapters exactly so you cannot leave any chapter because in the compulsory section almost every chapter is touched upon okay okay and um, you also need to learn the formula in every chapter yes learning the formulas is essential because most of your uh, uh, curriculum is based on actually substituting those formulas and getting the answer so if you don't know the formulas you will not be able to solve the question also while you are uh, while you are uh, answering a particular question please mention the formula first and then solve the question okay that's an important tip that you need to always mention the formula if possible box the formula with a pencil that's so that you know the examiner's uh, attention goes that okay fine you've written the formula because formula actually carries marks okay now uh, before we get on to the various uh, topics uh, which are part of the syllabus they just need let's look yeah. at one important strategy which is to do with rough work now most yes. students take rough work very not very seriously they do it in a very haphazard manner or not in a very neat manner and sometimes they do it in the end of the answer script you have to make a column on the right side of your page that is about uh, if you have a page say about one fourth of it uh, uh, leave about yeah. one fourth or should it be one third uh, uh, one fourth one fourth of the page you leave it to do rough work write rough work on top and that's because in case if you have made an error with the final solution to that problem, examiners uh, could actually look at the rough work to see whether the stepwise you have done the steps right and perhaps only got the last step or the second last step wrong. Exactly. So you could actually get marks if you do the rough work in a neat manner. So rough work does not mean untidy work. It actually means... Exactly. Suppose you have done a multiplication on the right. And then you have, suppose you have made a mistake with uh, copying down the answer here. They will check the rough work and there's You could be given marks. Exactly. Okay, so uh, take the rough work uh, seriously. seriously yeah. Okay, now let's come to chapter wise. You are mentioning about the mensuration questions. Yeah, in mensuration type questions, remembering the formulas are very important. Uh, volume, surface area, whatever is there in your syllabus, please remember the formulas because... Uh, uh, only if you remember the formulas, you'll be able to do the questions. Okay, now let's come to commercial mathematics chapters. Yeah. So in uh, the commercial uh, mathematics, you have profit and loss, you have uh, compound, compound interest. interest. So in these type of questions, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, they're almost like word problems, right? So it's given, uh, it's important that you write statements because statements actually carry marks. So you will write that, okay, fine, a profit is equal to this, loss is equal to this, given what is given in the question, what is supposed to be solved, and then a final statement 
after you have got the answer that okay fine therefore profit is equal to rupees 100 R writing all that is very important uh, important so that you get marks okay and also rupees uh, what uh, she tejasvini suggesting is that write rupees in full r u p w -E e s instead of drawing, drawing this because sign for the simple mistake. reason that if you if your handwriting is not really the best in the world it could be misconstrued for some other alphabet or some other word so just be a little careful yeah. about yeah. that or you could write rupees and in the bracket you could draw the sign if that's also kind of okay, okay. then coming to the algebra part you have to remember the expansions because uh, I have seen many people who say that uh, it's actually a very uh, innovative way of doing it. I mean, suppose you say A plus B whole square. You can, you, you, I, th I would suggest you actually remember that A plus B whole square is equal to A square plus B square plus 2AB because some people what they do A plus B into A plus B, it consumes a lot of time. Suppose, uh, you know, they sit and calculate and then you'll get the same answer, but you waste a lot of time and time management is important in a maths exam. Okay. So expansion is important then simultaneous linear yeah, equations. Yeah, simultaneous linear equations, word problems are given as you know. It's important to again write statements here and uh, whatever is the given and then uh, you uh, that has to be written in your answer and uh, assigning, suppose, uh, let the age of the mother be X. You know, assigning variables to the different uh, uh, statements or you know uh, object is important okay um, then indices uh, yeah indices logarithms writing remembering the, the rules, rules is important because only if you know the rules you'll be able to so uh, you know solve the questions in uh, indices or logarithms like you know you ha you'll have to remember all those uh, you know um, uh, um, rules in um, these two chapters okay geometry was always a chapter I dreaded the most so now let's come to in sums related based on geometry. geometry. What do you do? So in uh, sums based on geometry, uh, suppose you ask to find the angle or the length of the side, etc. What you need to do is that I would suggest you draw a diagram so that you know while you are uh, while you are solving the question, how you got the answer, a diagram will help you assist. Uh, will assist you in. Uh, explaining to the examiner how you got the answer. Okay. So I would say diagrams are important. Also reasoning is important. For example, uh, in a triangle, uh, all the angles together is 180 degrees. You're finding a particular angle. So you, it would be, it would help if you mention that, okay, fine, some of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees and therefore you're subtracting or whatever the procedure is. Okay. You need to, uh, it would be good if you mention for example if you're using pythagoras theorem right okay by pythagoras theorem this is what i have done okay um, obviously i mean when it comes to geometry or even generally in a maths exam it's necessary to have two well sharpened pencils have a good quality compass so you don't want to kind of go wrong with the bad quality compass and you know the yeah. whatever you're drawing doesn't come out as in a, in the most desirable manner because right? constructions is an important part of your syllabus and constructions it has to be very precise mm. because otherwise you will not get marks it has to be on dot okay therefore very well sharpened pencil draw lightly do not sit and sharpen pencils inside the examination hall you yeah. cannot afford to lose even a minute or a second of those 150 minutes yes. then uh, Okay, uh, in, as part of your syllabus, you will have uh, some theorems and proofs that you need to learn. So, uh, learn those well, stick to the textbook and uh, uh, learn uh, those uh, theorems or proofs, in, uh, especially in mensuration and all that, you will have certain proofs. For example, midpoint theorem, um, etc. Learn those well. Okay, then we statistics. Come to statistics. Yes, uh, statistics. that's where most students make quite a few mistakes yeah one very common mistake which most students make in statistics is that because see many numbers are given many values are given you should be very careful that you copy them down properly from the question to the answer because uh, in fact i would so say when you're check copying look at the question paper when you're copying it on your answer sheet do it carefully check it a couple of times in order to ensure that you have yeah. not got any particular digit wrong wrong exactly because you could always do that in a hurry yeah, and then the calculation is pretty uh, long, right? So you can't repeat it. So you need to be very clear, uh, sure that you know what you have written is right. Okay. Also, coming to histogram and uh, frequency polygon, they are graph-based questions. So um, uh, writing the scale is very important. They carry marks and um, uh, draw it well, draw it neatly. And um, also, even if you come to coordinate geometry, again you have some graphs. So such questions be very 
precise and writing the scale is very important writing x axis and y axis and naming the x axis is also very important like you know you mentioned that okay x axis denotes this y axis denotes that all that carries marks so be careful okay finally trigonometry trigonometry yeah trigonometry is uh, again an important part of your syllabus trigonometry remember the ratios sin cos tan cosecant secant and uh, cot mm -hmm. remembering those ratios are uh, you know uh, uh, important like you know adjacent by uh, base or you know hypotenuse by adjacent remembering what it is for is important also we, angles we are going to have another video which uh, she's tejasini is going to put out on how to remember the how to remember the trigonometry angles the values okay there is a very easy way of doing it instead yes. of trying to complicate your mind so do look at that video which will be posting uh, as well so in order to understand uh, trigonometry better and in a more simple manner right yes. so those are the tips given by tejaswini at the last minute for the icsc class 9 students hope this is of help do put it to practice work hard study in a focused manner exactly. practice Please, as much as possible uh, if uh, from your whichever textbook you are following do all the exercise you have two entire days saturday and sunday so you know uh, do all the exercise questions solve examples as much as you can all your pre final papers because that's what practice is what makes you do well in maths okay and also look at the kind of mistakes that you may have made in your pre board examinations look at those mistakes try to ensure that you do not repeat the same mistakes if the if if there is some kind of a pattern in the kind of mistakes that you are making in the exams through uh, class 9 and if there is a pattern try to rectify that if there is not a pattern if it is some some careless kind of mistake again ensure that you are much more careful and focused while you are attempting the question paper so essentially how much you get in mathematics paper is in your hands because you can actually address those mistakes plug the loopholes in the mathematics paper so all the best to you like share comment on the video also subscribe to study with sudhir we'll be getting you many more videos as you kind of run through your class 9 board exam the first time the board exam has been held thank you very much for watching all the best to you